Oh, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing us to this third month of the year, 2020. Anywhere you are today, lift up your voice, give him praise. Thank him for the grace, the privilege to see this month of March. We give you praise, Jesus. We thank you for the grace. We thank you for the privilege. We celebrate you. We give you all the glory. Anywhere you are today, let's take the word of the Lord. What is God saying to us concerning this month of March 2020? My anchor scripture will be from the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10. And I'm going to read from the Amplified Translation. King James Version says, The thief comes but to steal, kill, and to destroy. But I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. But the Amplified Translation says, The thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. God wants you to have abundant life. Operational word in this scripture, the 10B, I have come that they may have. The first thing is have. God wants you to live. He doesn't want you to die. Maybe somebody is thinking about death as I minister this month. God wants you to live. I've come that they may have. The second word is enjoy. Not just to live, but to live and enjoy life. I've come that they may live and enjoy life. And the last word is I want them to have this life in abundance. And in bracket, amplified transition, abundance means I want them to have this life to the full. I want them to have this life till it overflows. I want them to have surplus life. So this month of March, God wants you to have abundant life, overflowing life. He wants you to have and enjoy life. Not just living, but to live and enjoy life. Not just to exist, but to enjoy the life you have. Another scripture God is laying on my heart for this month of March. Hosea chapter 6 verse 2. I'm going to read from King James Version. After two days, he will revive us. On the third day, he will raise us up. And why is he going to raise us? That we may live in his sight. He's going to raise us for us to live in his sight. That we may live in his sight. Therefore, this month of March is declared to you watching me as your month of life. This month you will live. Everything that concerns you, you will live. Other translations about this Hosea 6 2. He said, On the third day, he will restore us, not just for us to live, but he wants to restore our glory. This is your month of restoration. Anything dead or not living, this month of March, there shall be restoration. Get ready for restoration of glory, restoration of faith, restoration of your goodness and your mercy. The things you have been enjoying before that are currently not there. This is your month of restoration. On the third day, it will restore us. On the third day, it will raise us up. That is the word of the Lord. This is your month of resurrection. It's your month of life. It's your month of restoration. It's your month of resurrection from the dead. No longer will your business be dead. This month of March is the third month. And on the third day, it will raise us up. Get ready for restoration of glory, for restoration of your life. This day, I speak life to your business. I speak life to that business. No more recurring losses. I speak life to your body. I command that pain to disappear. I command cancer to die. I command fibroid to disappear. That thing that has been disturbing and distorting pregnancy in that body. This month, I speak life to your womb. Receive the power to conceive in the name of Jesus. I speak life to your family. Every trouble home, this month I speak life to your family. I speak life to your career. No more failure for you. I speak life to your brain right now. Receive the ability and the grace to read and understand. I speak life to your job. Promotion is coming. New opportunity, they are coming your way in the name of Jesus. I speak life to that relationship. 
no longer rising and falling in that relationship. It's time for you to enjoy your relationship. And for someone today, I speak life to your finances. I declare that finances no more up and down. I declare stability, overflowing, more than enough. You take money out of money. Money meet money in your bank account. Money meet money in your hand. It won't finish. This month, I speak life to your finances. I command your bank account to come alive. Your bank account will no longer go to red. This month, God will send you men like angels. Favor like you have never seen before in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare to someone, this month is your month of life. No more losses. No more shame. No more ridicule. This month, as you go, you will live and enjoy life. I want to congratulate you. Happy new month. Welcome to the month of March, the month of life. God bless you.